Russian T-90M tanks crews train to destroy NATO tanks in Ukraine. Moscow, Russia, Russian T-90M Prorev tank crews trained to destroy NATO tanks in Ukraine. This was reported by the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation on March 17, as quoted by Izvestia. BulgarianMilitary.com recalls that Ukraine has started receiving Leopard tanks and Poland, and expects to receive British Challenger II tanks and American Abrams tanks. The weakest and most vulnerable points of Western NATO tanks are being studied, the ministry said in a press release. In this way, T-90M tank crews not only increase their skills in combat training but also in the management of ground combat armored vehicles. The training of Russian tank crews takes place on test grounds and in classrooms. According to Izvestia's sources, the instructors in the rear ranges explain exactly where the weak points of the three Western tanks expected in Ukraine are. After the theoretical exercises, the crews also conduct practical training. A Russian officer, part of the training team, says that one of the main tasks of his students is to improve their tactical skills and master new tactics. The instructors reveal part of the training process to the Russian media. For example, tank crews practice hitting a conditional target at 4 km using drones. In Ukraine, we are witnessing one of the most practical uses of drones, targeting artillery shells by transmitting exact coordinates to the enemy target. In addition to Russian troops, Ukrainian troops also use drones in artillery defense or offensive. Another part of the training is the passage of the tank crew with the combat vehicle through natural obstacles. Russian trainers say that conditions in Ukraine are changing, so it is necessary to change the obstacles that need to be overcome. It is now spring, the rainy season in this part of Ukraine. This suggests even greater difficulties for tanks in the Ukrainian mud. This condition applies to both Russian and Ukrainian tank crews. According to recent statements, Ukraine expects and received a total of 150 Western tanks. It is said that the number of countries joining the tank coalition to help Ukraine is constantly increasing. Just a few days ago, BulgarianMilitary.com reported on its Twitter account that Canada, for example, is already loading Leopard 2 tank comers onto transport planes and sending them to Europe. The news was shared on social media by Ms. Anita Anand, Canada's Minister of National Defence. The first three Leopard 2 tanks were delivered by Poland to Ukraine a few weeks ago. Just a few days ago, Pakistan expressed its desire to send T-80UD tanks and its inventory to Ukraine. However, Islamabad emphasised that someone would have to pay the Pakistani Ministry of Defence for this expense, referring to the actual purchase of the tanks. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced that on March 16, two Ukrainian tanks were destroyed in a battle in the Donetsk direction. However, Moscow did not specify the models and type of tank. According to the statement, in addition to the two tanks, two armored fighting vehicles, two pickup trucks, a Hurricane rocket launcher, AD-20 howitzer, a Gvozdika self-propelled howitzer, and an American M109 Paladin self-propelled howitzer were also destroyed. In the same operation, 275 Ukrainian soldiers were killed, according to Moscow.